getting a lot better. I haven't had any problems in my apartment. Tonight, major progress to report at Lakeside Point and Nora Apartments on the north side. The apartment complex has faced hundreds of housing code violations and a lawsuit. New management took over in March, and now, as WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson reports, tenants are seeing a big difference in safety. Residents at Lakeside Point at Nora say they're finally starting to see a positive change thanks to new management. Residents say crews have been working hard to fix emergency repairs and bring units up to code. A lot of great changes. I mean, they, they have been fixing up the apartments. I've seen some units like they've been repairing like new units, um, the carpet, floors and everything. They're putting new toilets and sinks and the whole nine yards. Daniela Mendez and Stephanie Hunt say within 30 days of new property owners, they've received major safety upgrades. A lot. They've fixed the fence. They've trimmed the trees down. They fixed around the lake. They're putting a fence, another fence up so cars can't get through, tearing up the grass. They fix the road. Fences wrap around unsafe burned buildings. The attorney representing new management here says they are ready to start demolition on this unit and the charred clubhouse, but are waiting on approved permits from the city. Plumbing and maintenance crews are on site fixing hot water heaters, leaks and more. This work is paying off because the health department says as of today, all emergency violations at Lakeside Point have been brought into compliance and are no longer pending in court. I feel great. Yeah, no, I, I like, I mean, it, I feel safer now. For years, residents have reported deplorable living conditions, crime, and lack of transparency. Conditions were so bad, legal action was threatened by the Marion County Public Health Department and city. How did you feel before the new ownership took place? Um, everything was just chaos. Now, residents are hopeful this once troubled complex is making a change for the better. It's, it's good. A lot of my friends are wanting to move in here now since it's getting better. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. The health department says there are still non-emergency violations that need to be fixed, but continues to see progress at the property. If you have any questions about renters' rights in Indiana, what you're entitled to as a tenant, we have found that information from the state of Indiana. On the website, in.gov, there is a whole section on renters' rights with a link to everything you need to know.